love living in New York. Um, it's such an exciting city. Um, I really, I'm always awake early here because there's so many exciting things to do and it's very hard to sleep. It inspires me a lot, yes, yeah. Every day I learn new things and I meet great people. It's very welcoming, so it really feels like um, your home. I think a lot of people who even come here for the first time, they're immediately like, oh my god, like they really feel at home. So I think, um, yeah, like it's very easy to meet people compared to other cities where it's more like family oriented. I think family is very important to me, and yeah. That's what makes me the most happy. Like out of the whole month, maybe I'm home for like one week and the rest I'm always on the road. So either in the airplane or in the hotel. So yeah, I think they're kind of like my base in a way, together with my suitcase. <laughs> I feel like my suitcase is my home and my family is like in my heart, my home. different kind of interest it changes kind of from week to week to month to month but um, lately I like to um, do cooking classes um, I still have to learn a lot the other day I was making ravioli and it turned out this thick it was disgusting <laughs> but it was a nice try um, I really like photography a lot and um, taking pictures of my friends or of like starting models and um, but then I like to travel a lot and read interesting books or documentaries and yeah, so it all depends. I think it's always important to appreciate what you have, to be grateful and I really am. And so I also try to give back to the world. So five years ago I decided to become ambassador of the Red Cross. I think the Red Cross really suits me because they're international. Um, plus they try to help anybody who's in need um, and it doesn't matter which religion they are or um, from which country they are or like they will just help anybody. They really work together with the people from that country and I think that's very important because they know like how the situation is, where the need is really um, necessary. So they're so experienced in helping and, and they're just so good. Like one of the things really impressed me is like there was like this big gathering together of all the people that were saying like thank you so much Red Cross for everything you guys have done and there was this little kid sitting <clears throat> what thing was not even like three years old and it was like eating sand because it was so hungry mm -hmm. and there was like 2,000 people living in a village and they had like a pond where they could water get water out but I saw like oil on it, I saw like animals and it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen um, and that's where 2,000 people needed to get water from and I don't know, those things that just does a lot to you. It's amazing to see what the Red Cross does and how it changes the people's lives over there. It's a great organization, very blessed that I'm with, uh, can help them as well. no idea what the future is going to bring because um, my life changes all the time and new things come to me and I'm interested in new things so um, so far I really enjoy living in New York modeling is still going really amazing so I guess I'm just going to continue like this for another year and then next year I'll see whatever um, my new plans are <laughs> <laughs>